Hi there. So, you've tested your algo, you've optimized it, now what? I'm Champion Chair Kevin Davey, and let's find out. A lot of people think once they test their algo and run a historical back test on it, they're good to go. Unfortunately, that's not the case. What you want to do is make sure that your algo is good and that it fits all your other systems before you go live. In my approach to algo trading, I have three specific steps that I follow after I've done my walk forward optimization. I'm going to talk about each of these briefly. So the first one is what I call Monte Carlo simulation. It's kind of like a random trade generator based on your results. And what you want to do is you want to make sure that you understand the probabilities behind your trading system. Sure, you might have a nice looking equity curve, but maybe if the trades were just in a different order, you'd actually have a bad trading system or one with too big of a drawdown. And in my algo trading, it's all about risk adjusted returns. So profit's nice, but not at the expense of having huge drawdowns. So you want to know where your strategy stands with that. And that's something that you cannot see just from looking at a back test. You've got to do some more work. And so I use Monte Carlo simulation. If you want a free Monte Carlo simulator, it's an Excel spreadsheet. You can go to my calculators page in my website and you can download it for free. And then you can play around with it and see what I mean. The second thing that I always do after I develop a strategy and test it is what I call incubation. It's basically you don't trade a strategy live right after you develop it. Why? Why not? Hey, I'm missing out on all these profits, you know. That's what people think. But the problem is most people overfit. They over-optimize. They do a lot of bad things. And when you go live, they start trading and their strategy falls apart. That happens time and time again. So what this incubation phase does, it's kind of a cooling off period where you can just let the strategy run you can run it in sim mode or you can just open it up every so often and check its performance. But what you get to see is you get to see how it's worked in real time without the possibility of you over optimizing or, every, or something like that. Now, what you might find is quite a few of your strategies fail in this kind of pseudo live setting but that's okay because everyone you find that fails is one that you weren't trading with real money this works incredibly well and a few years ago I actually interviewed my students of my strategy factory workshop and I asked them hey does this step save you money and a whopping 82 percent of them said yes this incubation has definitely saved them money Either they've lost less or they've not traded systems that would have lost. Now, you'll get the occasional system that takes off right after you develop it. And now you're not along for the ride because you're incubating it. But overall, what you're going to find is incubation will save you money because you won't be trading some of the dog systems you create. And let's face it, no matter what you do, Pretty much all of us are creating some dog systems that look good, but then fall apart in real time. And then the third thing you want to look at after you've done your walk forward testing is diversification and position sizing. And I've put those two together because it's kind of how your strategy is going to fit with everything else you're trading. Now, when I roll out a new strategy, I'm almost always start trading it with one contract just to make sure it's working right and 
also to see if it performs. And then if it performs, I might up the number of contracts I'm trading. But that way I kind of limit my risk in the beginning. The other thing you want to look at is how well it fits with your other systems. You know, it does no good to trade even a gold system if it's perfectly correlated with crude oil. Not sure how you would do that, but let's say you did. You don't want to trade two systems that behave exactly the same and perform exactly the same because then you're just doubling your risk. You want systems that complement each other. And that's something you have to dig into and look at. So there's two ways to do it. One is to check the correlation with your other systems. And you might also change how you're position sizing your new system. And that can also change how it reacts with some of these other systems. But these are three things that you really want to do before you go live and after you do all your testing. A lot of people think, hey, I'll just test it and then I'll go live. Watch out because that can be really dangerous. If you take the steps I just mentioned, the Monte Carlo simulation, the incubation, and looking at diversification and position sizing, you're going to be a lot better off in the long run. Well, hey, if you like this video, please subscribe to it. Please give it a thumbs up. And if you have comments, if you do something different, you don't like what I do, hey, let me know. I respond to all comments. I'd love to start a conversation with you. Thanks for watching. I'm Champion Trader Kevin Davey, and have a great day.